YouTube, what's going on with you guys? Thank you for tapping in with me again today. And if you're new to the channel, I'm from Cleveland. So um, it's 4th of July weekend, y'all. So I hope everyone is going to have a beautiful, happy, blessed 4th of July. Make sure you're staying safe. Stay away from the fireworks. But anyway, we have this 225 gallon monster behind me, y'all. So we need to do some cleaning on this tank. Matter of fact, I gotta do cleaning on all my tanks this weekend because I have a busy week ahead, so I'm not gonna have time to do it. But I have not shown you guys how I clean this 225, so that's what we're doing together. And uh, look at Hollywood right there. Anyway, let's get to cleaning this tank. And um, if you have any comments, drop them down in the comment section. Let's do it. First, let me uh, just give you a good look at everybody. Look at our clown trigger looking happy, getting bigger. Picasso, one of our Panther groupers. Mac and our other Panther grouper right there. Clark, Zebra Eel Zeal. We got our mini Addis. Let me close the blinds because you can't really see them. Got the mini Addis right there. And then we have the other inhabitants that like to hide out. That's not gonna make an appearance. But um, so the goal for today is to get off all of this um, cyanobacteria bloom. I'm gonna get that off of everything. So it's gonna be a real, real deep cleaning on this tank, guys. And there go Tess and uh, Tess and Bart right there. Tess is getting huge. But, um, yeah, I'm going to get all that off. I thought it was coralline algae. You know, my my uh, wonderful supporters and subscribers corrected me, so I appreciate y'all. Thank you for uh, correcting that because I don't want that in my tank. So uh, we're getting all that remediated. And uh, I'm going to put in some more sand. Have another bag of that lime sand right there that I'm gonna put into this tank because I don't like how it's all bare right there. You know, that's because it's not that much sand in here anyway. So let me go ahead and put that in there. And then also guys, and then also let me show you what I picked up from, this was purchased from the Petco um online store this right here is 40 pounds of carib sea rock this purple rock this 40 pound box i got 10 pieces in here y'all i feel like this was a steal of a deal a hundred and seven dollars y'all i know some of you guys probably say you get it for cheaper but i have not been able to purchase this for a cheaper price and I'm happy with it. So if you guys get it, could get it cheaper, I, you know, I applaud you, that's great. Buy as much as you can because you never know when a sale is gonna, um, whenever the sale is gonna go back off and when it's gonna come back on. So um, take advantage of it. I don't think I could put all 40 pounds inside this tank, but uh, I do want to remove some of this. I'm not going to take out, so all the bulk rock I kind of want to keep, that's like the long, like shelf-like pieces. Um, but as far as like the little pieces of bulk rock, like that one, that one, those right there, I'm thinking I want to remove those and I replace it with uh, with that Caribsy rock right there. It looks better and uh, it's way more porous which is very beneficial for the fish and colonizing your bacteria. The fact that this bulk rock is so dense, that's a good example right there. See how dense it is? It's not really porous. So being that it's not porous, it's hard for um, a lot of bacteria to colonize on it. You know, you wanna have something very porous so your bacteria can go all inside of there and do their thing or whatever. So um, yeah, guys. This is the tank. And it looks so clear. It looks so clear. 
I haven't cleaned it in two weeks though. I'm only going to do a 10% water change on this tank. So 22.5 gallons I'm going to remove and replace. And then uh, obviously clean the skimmer, clean the sump, clean the filter socks, replace the filter socks. And then uh, yeah guys, that's it. So let me get to it. All right, so this is where I'm at with things right now. I'm siphoning out some water so I could clean off these rocks when I put it in there. So I'm gonna put the rocks in the um, in the trash can and scrub all of that cyanobacteria bloom off. And then uh, that's what it looks like when a puffer takes it uh, Anyway. You get it. But anyway, so then after that, then I'll, um, I'll clean off the filter intakes and, and get to the back and, and scrub that off. And I'm gonna use my handy dandy uh, scrubber with rag to reach in those areas. First and foremost. So I wanna get off as much of that as I can. But I'll tell you right now, it's not going to be easy. But that's what this video is about. So um, let me continue on with this. And then uh, once I have the rock in the trash can and I'm scrubbing it, I'll show you what it looks like once we pull it back out. All right, guys. So as you can see, this tank is looking dirty. This tank is looking absolutely filthy, y'all. Could you believe it? This is the same tank that was crystal clear just a couple seconds ago for you. For me, it's been about an hour. Removed all the rock, brushed it off. It's come real clean. Remember how this piece looked? Brushed it all off. Once I put it inside the trash can of water, it came off real easy, but since I'm doing this this video by myself, I couldn't uh, I couldn't show you that portion of it. Don't worry about it. We'll have our our beautiful uh, videographer back in just a moment. But I just wanted to give you guys an update on what the status of this aquarium, and it's just looking um uh, like I said, absolutely filthy. So I brushed and cleaned the back glass as best as I could. I cleaned off all the components that are actually sitting inside the tank. The the, um, the UV filter, the filter intake to the FX6, the output from the FX6. Um, that's everything. That's the reason why this water is extremely dirty and cloudy. So now that I have all of the, um, the components, the glass cleaned as best as I could, I can't even really see any more up in there to be honest with you guys. It's very cloudy. So now I just will go about siphoning out all the debris that's sitting on the substrate. And it's quite a bit of it, guys, but that's what I wanted. And then I'll go ahead and put the rockwork back in here. I'll put in the new rockwork, and then I will also put in there the new sand like I, like I indicated earlier. But um, let me continue on with this. There's a lot of work still left to do, so I'll be back. All right, guys, so look, check this out. We got all the rock in here. We got this gravel. We got this sand vacuumed. That took quite some time. It's one o'clock, y'all. I've been doing this for about three to four hours. This is no joke. And I still did not clean the FX6 down below or clean the cup to my skimmer. I am going to postpone cleaning that FX6 because I did such a big cleaning on this tank. And um, I'll do that next week. And then um, I'll make sure that I clean that, that skimmer cup though for sure. My sock, my filter socks are good. Uh, piece of advice, this just may be me, but usually when you do a very large cleaning, I did more than 22.5. 22 and a half um, gallons of water. So, like I was saying, one one little tip, 
when you do a very, very large cleaning on your aquariums, you may want to hold off on cleaning your filters because all that beneficial bacteria that you have inside of your tank, I mean, inside of your filters, will help filter out the tank, if that makes sense to you. So um, usually you do an offset, or if you're gonna do maybe like a 10% water change, 15% water change, you could easily go ahead and clean out your filters and things like that. But if you do a massive one, 40%, 50%, but that's just me. 40%, 50%, you could go ahead and wait a week to do your filters and then do your filters. So that's just me. I've noticed that when I do it, when I do a very large cleaning and then do the filters, my tanks stay cloudy a little bit longer. So it's cloudy right now, but watch when I start running these filters, it's gonna clear right on up. And as you notice, we don't have any more of that cyano bacteria bloom you know i got all of that out it's off of all of this rock work so let me go ahead i've already rinsed the sand now i'm going to put the sand in here so it's probably going to be a little bit more cloudy again but um let me go ahead and finish this up i'll show you what it looks like and then i'll show you the real video of how it looks once it's clear and um i'm not done with this guys i still got to clean my 37 gallon i got to clean the 20 gallon quarantine tank and the 10 gallon quarantine tank. So it's a salty day. I got a lot of work to do, but this is all part of being a fish keeper, y'all. This is uh this is how it is. It's a job. Don't get it, don't let anybody tell you anything different. This is work, especially with the salty, uh, with the salty guys. Fresh water I would have been done already. But anyway, back to it. Check it out. We uh we got this bad boy finished. It's 2 p.m. Started at 9 a.m. So about five hours. But let's go ahead and take a look at this and see what uh see what changes was made. And I so I can show you how nice it looks. It's not clear, not 100 percent clear yet, but it's looking pretty damn good. Let me show you. All right, guys, check it out. So look, I put in all 40 pounds of that Carib Sea rock. Looking absolutely beautiful. I love that. I love the purple rock. So like I told you, 106 bucks, 107 bucks. Petsmart.com. Right, babe, Petsmart? Petco. Petco. Correction, Petco.com. They had a, a 20 pound box for like 50 bucks on $54. Another correction. Thank you, babe. So, um, yeah, you heard me get on there. Once you see this video, heard me get on there, see, uh, see if they have any more on sale for you. And you might want to go ahead and get you some because it looks good. But anyway, removed out plenty of that bulk rock. As I said, I wanted to keep the flatter ones so I could continue to have the shelves, which is really nice. So I have a few of these that I left in here, but otherwise, all of it's been removed. A lot more porous, allow for the beneficial bacteria to colonize. I added in that bag of sand, as you can see, which is one of the reasons why the tank is looking a little cloudy, but you just seen how cloudy this tank was when I was cleaning it. But uh, yeah, looking great. Looking astounding, guys. Thank you, babe. She said it's beautiful, y'all. Beautiful. So, I will show you another video once it's fully cleared up. I'm thinking it's going to be fully cleared up by the end of the night or the end of the day. By tonight, it should be cleared up. So, then I'll run another montage for you guys. Or I'll run my first and only montage for you guys once it's fully cleared up. But I will wrap up the video and uh, let you guys get on with your day. So anyway, like I said, <sighs> took five hours to get this bad boy where it's at right now. I'm happy with it, looks good. If 
finally got that set in here. Got the new live, we well, got the new rock in here, that new purple Carib Sea rock in here. I'm happy. I can't wait to see the rest of the fish get put into this tank. Cause you know, we got three fish over here in quarantine, y'all. I can't wait to get Titus back in here. Just missing Titus, y'all. Anyway, so that about wraps up this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop them down in the comment section. I told, like I said, this would have been a very long video if I would have brought you along for the whole process. So I hope you can appreciate the fact that uh, I cut that five hours down until maybe like 15 minutes for you guys. But anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram at The Fish Corner. Follow my Facebook page, The Fish Corner. Until next time, guys. Happy for peace. Guys, check it out. Just came back from getting my water for the, uh, my backup water so I could do my 37 gallon in the two quarantine tanks. And look how I walked in. Look at this. Crystal clear, y'all. <laughs> this looks absolutely amazing. That looks phenomenal, guys. Look at this. Look at this. I thought it was going to take until tonight to clear up, but nope. This bad boy is clear now. So, um, I'm about to run a nice little montage for you guys. And then we out. I'm going to make sure this video come out today. I'm going to edit it and get this video out today for you guys. So, yeah. This bad boy is clear. So happy with it. Montage coming right now. That wraps up this video in its entirety. Just wanted to show you how it, how this bad boy is gonna look when it's fully cleared up. And I'll put a little on the, on the split screen, I'll show you what this was looking like on its journey to get like this. Like night and day, y'all, like night and day. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful fourth. Be safe, y'all. Catch you next time. Peace.